The Lord said, stay away from eating that food and all this stomach ache that has been disturbing you, they will also stop as we pray. Yes, because um, of COVID, I, I had to return from work yesterday because of stomach problem. Mm. And I am home today because of that. The Lord said, pray for him concerning, concerning itchiness of the skin. Itchiness of the skin. Yes, my face. Yes, your, my face. Your face has been itching you. Mm, mm. I should also pray against rashes. Do you have rashes also? Okay, 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 okay. The Spirit of God said, You have been stingy. Okay? You have been stingy and you have been withholding the blessing He has given you from extending it to other people. So, apart from, yes, apart from. Uh -huh, The prophecy I gave concerning you was for you. The Lord said, uh, I should tell her to tell the husband to change the car brakes. Yes. Yes. Mm. And when, yes, yes. When we, when we checked, checked it out, uh -huh. it was just about an millimeter left on it. And we had to go with it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Coffee King. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, Prophet. I'm fine. I'm fine, Prophet. Okay. Thanks okay. for the call. Thanks for the call. Well, bless God. <laughs> bless, bless God. God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless. <laughs> Let's pray. Okay, Pastor. Father God, we Prophet. pray. We pray in the name yes, of Jesus yes. and we say thank you for the gift yes, of Lord. life. We commit this session into yes, your hands and we pray for the release thank of your Jesus. power and the eyes of the eagle to speak into yes, the life Lord. of your son, even in Jesus' yes, mighty Lord. name. Amen and amen. Yes, Lord. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank amen. you. Amen. 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 It is good. It is good you have registered for this one-on-one -on -one, so you can also be ministered yes. to. It is very, 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 very good. Your wife, your wife registered for one on one, and it was a very powerful session. Yes. Only that uh, yes. that very day, I wasn't in the office, so we couldn't record her session. But it was very, very powerful, and she made me understand it was her birthday. So I thank God, the yes, glory of God me, came down. Me, I told her that was the best. I told her that was the best body gift she has ever. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm God, telling God. you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Her prophecy was so accurate. It was so on point. I was so happy for her that God spoke into her life that day. It was a perfect birthday gift for her. Yes, yes, yes. I mm. endorse that. That's mm. true. Even you, there was there was a word I received for you that day. I gave her that word to give to you. And she came back to, yes, to give me confirmation about it. Yes, she told me. Mm. <laughs> The, the, the prophecy I gave concerning you was for you. The Lord said, uh, I should tell her to tell the husband to work on her car brakes, to change the car brakes. Yes, yes. Mm. And when, yes, yes, and when we look at, when we check, check it out, uh -huh. it was just about a um, millimeter left on it, and we had to go and do it. <laughs> wow. <true>. Wow. <laughs> on the highway wow the expressway and that would be catastrophic oh my gosh wow glory be to god glory be to god yes wow so <laughs> <laughs> powerful 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 powerful, powerful, powerful. powerful, powerful, powerful. Wow. god loves you god loves you too yes, much yes yes i know that I know because that. this one would have ended yeah, it would have ended very very bad if god had not intervened yeah. So, so in your lifetime, have you ever encountered a prophet of this caliber before? Someone you have never spoken no. to? No, no, it's my force, it's my force. I'm wow. It's growing. The presence is on me, yes, yes. Wow. And, and I wasn't even speaking to you, I was speaking to your wife, and the message came concerning you and your car break. Wow. Yes, true. 
Wow. You should forever you should forever be thankful and be grateful to the most high God for saving your life. Yes, I will never I will never stop serving him. I will serve him for the rest of my life. Mm, mm, I will serve him mm, for the rest of my mm, life. Mm. God God loves you and because of that I also love you. <laughs> and I'm happy you have survived yes, this yes, this trap the enemy sent your way. I'm so so happy that you've survived it by the yes. prophetic grace on my life. Yes, 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 mm. Okay. And um, that is one of the, 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 um, the gifts I promised to give my wife for 68 uh -huh. to come to you. Oh, wow. You in wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yes, we yes. shall be waiting. We shall be waiting for it. When is her 60th yes. birthday? This year or next year? Uh, no, no, no. Um, she'll be, she'll be um, 58. She's 58 now. Okay. So two years from now. Two years from now. Okay, yes. okay, okay. All right, Mr. Cornelius, um, yes, sir. Which, which city are you in now, right now? I'm in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York. Yes, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, so we thank God for every step of the way what God is doing to preserve your life. Uh, but even now, the Spirit of God is saying to me that your your dreams have not been that good because there are evil spirits that manifest like wild animals. But to be specific, the animal I'm seeing is like a dog. There are evil spirits that will manifest like dogs and they will come into your dreams. And when you see a dog in your dream, usually it is a sign of witchcraft. Usually, yeah. it is a sign of witchcraft. The Spirit of God says, uh, your life and longevity, it is connected to you staying away from beans. You know beans? Beans? Beans. B-E-A-N-S. Beans. 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 B-E-A-N-S. Beans. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. good, 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 good. Yes. The, the Spirit of God said, stay away from beans from today because it is gradually creating a problem in your liver, either your liver or your kidney, one of the, the two. Yeah. It is gradually, okay. It, okay. yes, it is gradually creating a problem, but eventually, if you don't stop eating, the forces that wants to kill you, they will penetrate through you eating that food that is not good for your system. It is not good for your system. Okay. It is not good for your liver and your kidney. Okay? So the Lord said, stay away from eating that food. And all this stomach, okay. all this stomach ache that has been disturbing you, they will also stop as we pray. Yes, because, um, Prophet, I, I had to return from work yesterday because of stomach problem. Mm. And I am home. I am home today because of that. Mm, well, that is powerful. I took in on, on the job. I took, yes, I took in on the job yesterday. Because of the same. Because of, stomach, stomach because of the same. Yes. I decree and I declare that you shall not die. You shall not die of any kidney you problem. See. You shall not die of liver infection or liver failure. You shall not die of your organs failing and falling. You shall not die. I rebuke the devourer and I break the spell of premature death over his life in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. The Bible said the word of God is sure and it is amen. It is yea and it is amen. He will send his word and his word will not return to him void, but it shall fulfill the purpose for which he sent it. And the reason and the purpose for which God is sending this word to you, which is for healing, I pray that that healing will take place right now. Receive divine healing in your liver. Receive divine healing in your kidney. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all the way in Brooklyn, I deploy the angels of God to minister healing to you, to break the yoke of death, to break the yoke of infirmity. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. You will live long. You will live long. You will live long. You will live long. You will live in divine health. You will live long. You will live in divine health. You will live long. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Son of the living God. From today, stay away from eating beans. I have prayed for you. I have prayed for your tummy. 
Your tummy is going to be yes. calm from now. All the evil forces that have surrounded your home and they are doing burial service, they shall be disappointed because that burial service shall not enter into the physical world. They shall be heavily disappointed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, you are my God and you are my Father. You reveal to redeem. And I pray for your son Cornelius all the way in Brooklyn, New York, that he will not die. He will not die. He will not be buried. He will not die premature. He will not die in the hands of his enemies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They are they are already in your compound. They are already in your yard. They have surrounded yes. your house. And I see all of them in black morning clothes which means that spiritually they are mourning her. They are doing funeral service. Yes. And it must not come in the physical because I have prayed for you. And this is what, what we tell yes. people. This is what we tell people. And people who are not matured spiritually, they don't understand. Any man of God at my level who stands with you in prayer, right? And delivers you. Yes. The forces that are meant to destroy you and to kill you, they turn their anger to the man of God who has delivered you. Uh, that is what happens. So, most often, okay. most often people do not understand why men of God or the children of men of God, they go through certain trials, they go through certain temptations, but this is a clear indication because you, you are already on your way to the grave. You were, you were, not after now, after today, the yoke is the yoke is broken. The yoke is broken after today. The yoke is broken after today. Imagine when I was ministering to the wife, the Lord gave me a message, and He said, when they went to the mechanic to check, it was just a meter left for the brake to cut off. Yes, and that would have ended in death. That would have ended in death. Mm. So your kidney, <coughs> your kidney and your liver. I have spoken the word of God over it. I have spoken the fire of God over it. You will not be diagnosed of anything that has to do with your kidney or your liver. By the power of the resurrected name of my Savior, Yeshua Hamashiach, you are covered in the blood of Jesus. You are covered by the, by the heaviness of the glory of God, my God and my Father. Those who are preparing to buy your coffin, they will lie in the same coffin. You will not lie in that coffin. Amen. Those who have already Amen. bought black cloth, black dress, black shirts, black trousers, and they are waiting and preparing to hear the news of your death so they can attend your burial. It is you who would rather attend their burial. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. My God and my Father. The Lord said, pray, pray for him concerning, concerning itchiness of the skin. Itchiness of the skin. Yes, my face. Yes, your, my face. Your face has been itching you. Recently, yes. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yes. The Spirit of God said, I should also pray, apart from the itchiness, I should also pray against rashes. Do you have rashes also? When, when I scratch the face, they, 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 um, it's become a bump, bump will come up there. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. I commit you in the blood of Jesus. I soak you yes. in the pool of the blood of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, may the blood of Jesus remove every spiritual mask every canopy that has covered you. May the blood of Jesus remove it from today in the name of Jesus. The Bible said how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit and with power and he went about doing good, healing the sick and casting out demons. In his name, I come to you all the way in New York, Brooklyn and I rebuke the enemy of skin rashes. I rebuke the enemy of itchiness in the face. I rebuke the devil. I rebuke Satan. I rebuke Satan and his demons out of his life in the name of Jesus. Out of his life in the name of Jesus. And I shut the door behind you. You will not return back into his life. You will not return back into his life. You will not return back into his life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
the spirit of God said, you have been stingy. Okay. You have been stingy yes. and you have been withholding the blessing he has given you from extending it yeah. to other people. So apart from, okay. yes, apart from the fact that I have prayed for you, you still have to go out yes. there and give. Uh -huh. That is so true, you know why? Because I used to give people freely, 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 and then my wife said, you know what happened? You got to be careful who you give, and, and you know, I listened to the preaching and so on, and say you got to know who you're giving money to, or because you won't be blessed. I even I even used to send for my sisters, them to come over here from their country, Guyana. Mm. I sent VJ for them. I sent a um, passage for them to come over, spend the time and all those things. They used to supply them with money. But one of their husband involving in this voodoo stuff. Mm. Right? Yeah. So I draw sending money per hour to, um, to her. Because I used to send money to her and give her and help them out and so on. And I withdraw it stop. Mm. So that is so true. That mm. is so true. Mm. <laughs> mm. But I was told, mm. you know, the money going to different things. Yeah. Okay, okay. The Lord said you should right. give. You have been withholding back yes. the blessing he has given you. Yes. They are not looking for your wealth anymore, even though work is currently not going the way it's supposed to go. But they are not looking for right. blocking your work now. What they are looking for is your life itself. They want to take your life away. Oh. Yes, they yes, want to yes. take your life away. But so mm, Because now they have a foothold what they can present in the court of heaven, why God must not fight for you because you are not a giver. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave. Yes. That what? He gave. Yes. That what? He gave. He gave his only begotten son. As I sit here speaking to you, Mr. Cornelius, I am in Zambia. You are in America. And it takes a lot of energy spiritually for me to be able to minister to you the way I'm ministering to you. Because... Good, and it's so accurate, and it's so, so, so accurate. It takes a lot from my spirit. Jesus said, somebody has touched me because I felt virtue, power coming out of me. So me sitting here in Lusaka, Zambia, and speaking to you in Brooklyn, New York, America, and it is on point, and it is accurate, and, and, and most importantly, I'm dealing with the forces of the enemy, of Satan, that wants yes. to annihilate you, that wants to kill you. It takes a lot out of me physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, I become exposed to the enemy. But guess what? Majority of the people I, I have dedicated my life for God to use me to be a blessing to, they end up stabbing me in the back. They end up betraying me. But here I am. For the first time, I'm yes. speaking to you on phone and I'm being a blessing to you. Yes. It doesn't stop me yes. from giving myself to the Lord to use me to bless others. So you are going to release a prophetic seed on the altar of Fire Nation, not, not less than $5,000. Release something that will cost you pain. Release something that will, will just break the jeans, break the spell to say, I am a dangerous giver. I am a dangerous giver. Is not, is not good, no one, I know. Said, I know. Nothing, and I, I'm, I'm 70 years old and I'm about to come off. Oh, wow. I have some. Yes, I have some money in, um, in the other country that I have to collect, and it's delayed, right? Mm. They, have to, they, have, they have to call me. I have to call, go there to collect it, and it's delayed because from that money, I said I will, I will buy um, a monitor for the church that I'm attending mm. and so on. Mm. Okay, so not a problem. Setbacks I have. Not a problem. So I already I know. You could pray for me for those setbacks and so on. I will, I will. I will. I already mentioned it concerning your work, that even your work is also under attack. They are not going the way they are supposed to go. But my main, my main focus is to preserve your life, what you must do, and what I also have to do for your life to be preserved. And that is what God wants you to do. God said, fight for your life. Yes. Which means that which means that the survival of your life is not only in the hands of God. There is something you also have to do. If God is saying you should fight for your life, there's something you also have to do. So if you have spoken like this, I like what you have said, that you do it bit by bit. And the moment you start, you see how doors will open. Doors will just be opening for you financially like that, like that, like that. 
And yes, when, yes. when things become very well, please don't forget to always become a giver. No, always become a giver. Always become a giver. Because when you stop giving towards the people who were less privileged in your life, you should have directed it into the house of God and it would have been the same. Right. And it would have been the same. Right. It would okay. have been the same. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mm. That's true. Mm. That's true. I, I bless you. I bless yeah. you. I bless you. Okay, Pastor. Okay, Pastor. Thanks very much. I bless you. I bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Before you go, shout fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. Okay, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, my son. My son also has a case where he uh, is being delayed with getting his, his some, some money and all those things. You know, he's, he got a problem with his um. He had an accident mm. and they have to pay him some money and up to now he's delaying and delaying and so on. Okay. So is the money coming from the insurance guys? Yes, the insurance and the um yeah insurance and the. Okay. And your money from Guyana is coming from where? From my NIS. NIS, okay. Okay, okay. 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 I pray for the release of that money from today. I pray for the release of that money from today. I pray for the release of that money from today, both for you and for your son. Within the next 30 days, let there be a performance, I pray, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Wow, 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 wow. Powerful administration, powerful demonstration, powerful prophecy by the grace of God. In Brooklyn, New York, the United States of America can never be the same. There is no way you encounter a true prophet of God and your life remains the same. It has never happened and it will never, never, never happen. His wife registered for one-on-one -on -one, and I spoke to the wife and by the grace of God, I received this prophetic word for her husband and her husband was not around. When I was speaking to the wife, what was the prophetic word? The prophetic word was that your husband should take his car to the mechanic so they can change the brake because the brake is remaining with something very, very, very small, something very, very, very small for the brake to tear. And he said immediately he heard the message, he took the car to the mechanic. And when the mechanic checked the brake, it was remaining with one millimeter only one small millimeter only for the break to be torn. And by the grace of God, God has saved his life. He got encouraged and he said, let me also register for one-on-one -on -one so I can encounter this grace upon this rare servant of God on the continent of Africa. And this is what you have just seen now. Accurate prophetic administration. Like we say in my country, Ghana, no kululu, no kalala, straight to the point. No kululu, no kalala, straight to the point. It is not for entertainment. It is not for job. It is for giving help to the helpless. It is for giving solution as God intended it. When he called me to leave everything else I'm doing, to become a global prophet in his hands to serve the nations of the world. I will encourage you. Probably you have heard so many stories about prophets who say they are not true prophets in our generation anymore. I will encourage you to go to our website, any of the two websites we have, register for one on one. And there's a small fee we are asking you to give in order to support the ministry and to sustain the workers and the staff I am working with. If you go to a lawyer, guess what you have to pay consultation fee if you go to a doctor guess what because they have rented a building to accommodate you so they can help you and the same way the office i am seated in we are paying for it the staff behind the camera we are paying them monthly so just something small for you to register for one-on-one -on -one prophetic ministration so we can also assist you and be a blessing to you I'm waiting for you to register.
I'm waiting for you to register so we can be a blessing to you. My name remains Elijah Kofi King, the Global Prophet, and I wait for you. Shalom, shalom, peace. Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King is worth hearing.